Shut up and sit down. Welcome back to Nerd Safari. We are Simon and Ellie. Yeah, and if you enjoy our videos, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and of course hit the bell thing. That would be very kind of you indeed. And as usual tonight, we are surprising each other with trailers and filming our silly reactions. And this time I'm surprising you. So let me tell you what I got for you. So please. Yeah, so this is a movie that honestly I looked at it and I kind of thought, ah, oh, really? But then the more I read about it, I kind of thought, actually, I think I will watch this and really enjoy it. And I'm wondering if you're on the same page. This is a movie starring an actor that I loved as a kid who is now 91 years old. And, of course, that was my first reaction. This is somebody who's too old to star in a movie. Mm. But... I would like to check out the trailer. There's a lot about it that sounds like it's really going to appeal to me. I've not seen it yet either. So we're going to go ahead and check out the trailer for Cry Macho. Mm -hmm. If you want to see what we think about it, then hang around until the end. But for now... Let's go. Let's go. Back when we had winners, I was afraid to lose you to the competition. Five times you won the All-American. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? That was before the accident, before the booze. You know how many people told me to just cut you loose? You gonna say anything? Howard, I've always thought of you as a small, weak, and gutless man. <laughs> but you know, there's no reason to be rude. <laughs> oh, nice. Good stuff. You know me, Mike. You gave me your word. And that used to mean something. My son, Rafael, he's in trouble. I want to get him out of Mexico. You want me to go down there and kidnap him? Please, just get him back up here. Whoa. Just you? Just me. Hey, Rafael, you can come out now. I'm a friend of the family. Touch me and I'll kick your ass, old man. Jesus Christ. Get in the back. We go and I tell you, okay? Look, the only place you're gonna go is the hospital. You get too angry. It's not good for you. You used to be strong, macho. I used to be a lot of things, but I'm not now. now I'll tell you something. This macho thing is overrated. Just people trying to be macho show that they've got grit. <laughs> Use this old man straight. End up with. It's like anything else in life, you think you got all the answers. I'm Mike. Marta. And you realize as you get older, you don't have any of them. We all have to make choices in life, kid. You have to make yours. His name is Macho. Like me. Very strong rooster. Whatever. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I yeah, wants to name this cock Macho. <laughs> it's okay by me. <laughs> So we have just seen the trailer for Cry Macho, starring 91-year-old Clint Eastwood, who is a retired rodeo rider who is kind of down on his luck and then has to help smuggle a friend's son out of Mexico and sounds like they go on some kind of a journey together, both physically and metaphorically, which was one of the reasons that it really, really appealed to me. Uh, so what did you think of the trailer? The thing that jumped out was Clint Eastwood, even though he is 365 years old, he doesn't look, he doesn't look bad for being that old. Like True. you could tell me he's, he's only 80 and I think, wow, he looks really good for 80, but yeah, he's a million and that's, I'm, <laughs> I'm really proud of that for him. Um, yeah, I, I just, he's still got the presence of someone a lot younger. Um, and that's, it's really impressive. I hope, I, I can't, I don't have that kind of stamina now, let alone when I'm a million. Um, 
yeah, he's just, he's just got, still got such a screen presence and just such a weight and the gravitas of when he's speaking. It's just, it's really incredible. Okay, so you know that Clint Eastwood is still alive, so that, let's check that box. What do you think of the actual story of the, the movie as it was told in the trailer? It's not gripping me as much as it grips you, from Aww. the sounds of it. I, li I like the idea of it, of him kind of going on a spiritual journey and exploring his past. And Because I guess with um, rodeo being a very macho sport, he had to kind of, sounds like he had an accident and had to reevaluate like his identity in relation to that and that he can pass that on to his friend's son. I think this is an interesting premise to explore, but it's not necessarily something that I feel compelled by. Oh, okay. It really reminded me, and I know you haven't seen it, but of The Last Movie Star, which was the final movie that Burt Reynolds filmed before he died. And that was similar. It was a kind of a curmudgeon old man begrudgingly pushed into going on this journey with a younger person. And by the end of the movie, they just have this heartwarming slash heartbreaking relationship. And this looked to be very much more of the same, just taking these incredible classic actors who, like you say, their screen presence is just second to none, and they've still got it. It doesn't matter what age you are. If you're a great actor, you're a great actor. We see the same with Harrison Ford these days. Like, he may not be the great Indiana Jones action star, just as Clint Eastwood might not be Dirty Harry or Pale Rider anymore, but they still can act, and they've got that. And it, it almost seems to be enhanced by the older that they are, the same as you see with Anthony Hopkins these days. But like seeing them then mentoring a, a much, much younger person, I, I just kind of love that dynamic. And yeah, The Last Movie Star was one of the best movies I saw in the last few years. And this looks like it could have potential to be pulling on the same heartstrings. So for me, that yeah, that was a big plus. And you know, my grandmother was a huge Clint Eastwood fan. Like when I grew up, Pale Rider was one of her favorite movies. It was either Clint Eastwood or John Wayne, which when you're growing up in rural England is a very, very alien world of cowboys and horses and gunfights. But yeah, just to see Clint Eastwood kind of returning to that, um, I, I've also been reading a book of stories written by modern Native American authors as well. And like every night before bed, my head is now somewhere out in some desert somewhere or a forest somewhere just learning about the, these people that I, I previously didn't know much about at all. And just, and, and I know, you know, there are no Native American people as far as I'm aware in this movie, but just seeing the scenery and the settings, just I, I've been pining for that kind of a place especially being trapped at home and only traveling in our imaginations for the last 18 months. So, yeah, just the, the scenery and the settings really, really appealed to me on that level as well of just uh, the, the unexplored America that we've not yet had an opportunity to see. So, well, I guess we are somewhat divided, you know, both, I guess, united in that actually Clint Eastwood can still do a movie at 91 years old and seemingly pull it off. Um, I'm really, really tempted to watch Cry Macho. I feel like I may need to watch it on a flight on my own uh, when I can secretly cry quite a lot when it gets to the, to the heartwarming pieces because, uh, yeah, I suspect this is going to have some emotional roller coasters built into it. I, I'm not so convinced about his really weak old man punch, though. That, that looked like it took some real camera trickery to make that look anywhere near impactful. But anyway, so uh, yeah, I think we're we're divided, but I'm certainly still going to go watch Cry Macho. Would you give it a shot? Yeah, I think we could, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I'd watch it. Grudgingly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. But I won't enjoy it. Yeah, you're, you're the curmudgeon old man in this relationship. Well... Hey, I'm glad you're at least willing to give it a shot because I'm looking forward to watching it. But that is, I'm afraid, all the time we've got for you today. However, you know how often we do this? Every day. Every curmudgeon -y, begrudgeon -y old day. So we will see you tomorrow, friends, on the next Dork Trailer Ambush. Peace out, curmudgeons. Bye! <laughs>